there aren't actually too many more things more difficult than trying to see your surroundings in a pitch black room. And while you can always feel your way around and hope that you don't trip head first into the toilet, there are times that actually being able to see in the dark is a must. Fortunately, night vision isn't just a thing in your favorite first person shooter. It's present in everything from surveillance cameras to military periscopes to ordinary smartphones. In fact, part of the reason night vision has so many applications is because it's not just one specific piece of technology. Rather, it comes in several different forms that can be deployed depending on use case. But what many people think of when they hear the words night vision is something called image intensification or image enhancement. This is that stereotypical green form of night vision that you might associate with the military or what you see in action movies. Speaking of which, that green color is used on purpose because your eyes are more sensitive to green than other colors. Image enhancement works by being able to detect low levels of light and then amplify it. When photons, the tiny particles that make up light, enter an image enhancer, they first hit a special layer called a photocathode, which releases electrons. These electrons then hit a second layer called a microchannel plate, which multiplies the electrons before they hit the phosphor screen. Why are these things all so epic? That then converts them back into light because there are now so many more electrons, you get a brighter image, so you'll have an easier time getting into someone's base and killing all their dudes. But hold on a second. What if there isn't enough light for thermal enhancers to see at all? This is where thermal imaging comes in instead of detecting light. Thermal cameras detect heat coming off of different objects since they can see infrared light. You see, heat causes things to emit photons in the infrared or IR spectrum, and although humans can't see infrared light, these special cameras take advantage of it in a number of different ways. IR cameras produce images called thermograms, which sometimes look rainbow colored, where the different colors represent different temperatures. Thermograms are useful for everything, seemingly from medicine to construction, but they're very specifically handy for night vision, since it's really easy to pick out different objects, such as people or animals, due to their different colors standing out on the screen. Thermal cameras often can't achieve the same level of detail as their image enhancing counterparts, but they have a big advantage of being able to pick out things that might be hard to see with a normal image enhancer. For example, a firefighter trying to locate people that need to be rescued in a burning building. A hunter picking out prey deep in the woods, hiding behind foliage, or cops trying to locate that hiding fugitive. And speaking of thermal imaging, some cameras can even create their own infrared light in a process called active illumination, where they actually light up their surroundings with IR radiation. Because this additional infrared energy reflects off of whatever the camera is pointed at, this strategy can result in much higher resolution images. Great for things like surveillance cameras where you really want to get a positive ID on that perp that tried to steal your slushy machine. What a downer. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks with more than 180,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodicals. Audiobooks are great to listen to when you're doing whatever, programming, playing games, going to school, working out, doesn't matter, basically anywhere you have your smartphone. For our audience members, Audible is offering a free 30-day trial. Just go to audible.com slash techquickie and browse the over, as I've already said, 180,000 audio programs. There might be some audiobook about stealing a portable slushy machine, but I've been listening to Game of Thrones. It's absolutely fantastic. No spoilers. The current movies are, or the current show is kind of running right now, so there's a lot of spoilers online too, so just a heads up to avoid those. But yeah, if you're like old enough, I, I'd, listen to, I'd listen to Game of Thrones audiobook. Speaking of things I'd do, like the video, or, you know, dislike the video if you want to, like, be the other side in a Game of Thrones war, you know, uh, that analogy sucked. Gonna roll with it. Don't forget to go to Channel Super Fun. They're pretty cool. Don't forget to leave a suggestion down below if you're like, wow, 
you should probably have better analogies and segues. That would also be fine. Or you could be like, here's an idea for another video. That would be even more fine. And yeah, if you want to see more, just come back. That's cool.